This is how we do My name is John Keller, aka the IT Beast, and thank you for joining me in this instructional video. We're going to be going over installing VMware tools on Linux virtual machines. Okay, my uh, base of reference is this KB article from VMware 1018414. It can be found anywhere on the internet using your favorite search engine via Google, Yahoo, whatever turns your fancy. All right, so with that in hand, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so now we're going to start installing the VMware tools. There's a few prerequisites we're going to go over first. First of all, we're going to be uh, doing this on CentOS, mainly because I just got through doing an instructional video not too long ago using this particular template. So I figured, you know, why rebuild the wheel? So we're going to use that. It can be done, though, however, on any Linux distribu distribution. Anywhere from Fedora, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, done it on Linux Mint. Haven't done it on Fedora though, but it is one of the ones that you can install VMware tools. Like I said, pretty much any Linux dis distribution you can install VMware tools. Now, first thing you want to do, whether you're whatever version of Linux you're running, you want to make sure your software is updated. Two ways can be done. You can do it through the GUI, go to administration. Click on Software Update. And the reason why it's giving me this little uh, warning is because I'm not connected to the internet, but if it was working, you would see a list of the files that would need to update. Second of all is, of course, through the, through the terminal. Now, as with anything concerning Linux, you need to be root in order to make any changes. So we're going to log into root now. All right, so now we're in as root. And then the other way is yum without the user GUI user interface. And what yum is, real quick, is it's basically the Linux version of Windows Update. It uses repositories to where your Linux box goes out, grabs the software it needs to update, or even applications, downloads them, and then installs them for you. The TACY switch is for so you don't have to keep saying yes to every time it says, do you want to install this, do you want to download this. It will automatically do that for you. Now, if you still want to install without updating your software for whatever reason, there is a part of the kernel that does need to be updated. And I'm going to show you the command for that in just a second. I'm going to make this just slightly bigger. It is be using one spec of the YUM. It is be installing this part to upgrade the kernel so it can accommodate the VMware tools. Then you would hit enter, it'd go out, and it would make the uh, installation for your uh, virtual. But again, if you did the software updates, you should not have to do this. So we are now going to move on. I will get this out. I apologize, I meant to delete that. It didn't delete. Well, we'll just go ahead and do this then. All right, so we're going to go to our, our player. We're going to click down. And the VMware tools this doesn't have to be just player. It could be VMware Workstation, uh, vSphere. This will pretty much go over any virtual appliance will be closely the same. In this case, I'm using player version 5, but can easily be done the same with version 6. And I believe 3 and 4 is menu to about the same so there should not be that big of a of a change within the menu selections that I'm showing you. Click on install VMware tools and what's going to happen is 
an ISO will be loaded into your virtual CD-ROM with the file that you'll need to install. Now unlike Windows, you have to manually install it. It's not a self-executable installation to where it will install all the files for you, so that is the reason why I'm showing you this video. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead we're going to mount our CD-ROM. And the important thing you got to remember here is is we're going to be installing this VMware Tools tar, which is the compiler way, like I told you earlier. So we'll go ahead and do the mount. And the directory of, well, I'll say mount, but it's MN, MNT. This is just let you know it's right protected. You can't do anything to it. Um, it's just a warning. We can safely ignore it. Then we are going to go into that directory. Okay. And then we are going to copy the VMware tools file off of the ISO. And you can do this quickly by also hitting the tab button. If that name or directory is close enough when it searches for it, you only need to type in a few letters and not the whole thing out, which will make your life a heck of a lot easier. And then we're going to tell it to copy it over to the temp directory. Again, you don't have to use just temp. You can use whatever directory you feel comfortable with, but to make it easier, we're just going to use the temp directory. All right, so now it's copied over. So we are going to go into the temp directory. Well, we'll probably go into it if I type it right. There you go. Forgot to put the switch on it. Then we're going to U mount the mount directory, so it's going to unmount the ROM. And then we are going to, in Windows terms, unzip the tar file. Because again, the tar file is used to compress files. We're going to use the XZVF option. We'll type in our first few letters and get in there. As you can see, it popped right on out, which made my life a lot easier. So we're going to go ahead now and enter. So now it is unpacking as we speak. All right, we're going to close this window. And we're going to make this bigger so we can see what we're going on. And since this is such a clutter, I am going to clear the screen. All right, so we're going to now go into the VMware tool distrib directory. And we are going to hit enter. And like I said, the way you can do that is the trick is you type in a few letters, hit the tab button, and if it's within, with, within the close proximity, it will automatically spell it out for you to make your life way easier. And now we are going to put in the command in order to install it. This would be similar if we were running an executable in Windows. Which is period for slant VMware TAC install TAC PL and then we are going to hit enter. And it'll take about 10 to 15 seconds for it to kick in, but it will kick in. And 
All right, it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. You're just going to hit enter and you accept all the defaults. Because again, this is for beginners learning to do this. If you are more advanced, then by means go ahead and do so. But for right now, we are just going to hit the defaults. Do not worry about that fail to get size of gamma for output default. It will still continue to install. And we're back to accepting the defaults again. moving a little slowly because I want to make sure you can see what output is going in in there even though we are not going to be doing anything it's still nice to see And it's disabling the X configuration because we're using a GNOME desktop. Right now it is modifying the kernel to accept the changes. And uh, one thing I also want to point out is I'm using the player that's connected to VMware Workstation so the ISO file is already there but if you're using player that's downloaded just directly free from VMware it may need to have an internet connection to download the ISO file in order for you to use so keep this in mind when you are installing. Alright you see that failed mounting HGFS shares do not worry about it it will not affect the final end result of the install. As you can see you get this little welcome to VMware I hope you like VMware tools and then it says VMware team just paraphrasing and we are done alright so from this point on this will begin I don't know if I explain this real quick uh, VMware tools are used to enhance your virtual machine make it prettier with the graphic user interface um, your virtual NICs and the different like you saw the print drivers to make life easier for you now I'm also going to show you and even through you'll probably never do this is to uninstall VMware tools for whatever reason including troubleshooting maybe you're having problems you can uninstall the VMware tools so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick Pretty much the same command I used to start it off with, except I got the uninstall feature in there. Went to enter. So it is now going through and removing everything we just installed. Like I said, you will probably never have to do this. I personally, once I'm done with the virtual, just delete it. So, <laughs> but uh, 
for whatever reasons, if you want to do some troubleshooting, at least you can uninstall the VMware tools. And when it is done, it will go back to the command prompt. Alright, so we're at the command prompt. It's thanking you for uh, your patronage and at least trying their software. So we're going to go ahead and exit out. We're going to close the terminal. Alright then, I um, want to thank you for joining me in this instructional video. And if you liked it, please click like. And if you really like, you can go ahead and subscribe. Because I plan on doing ver many more videos and I hope that it not only helps maybe the person who's watching this now, but other people down the road. So thank you very much, and have a good day. Mm -hmm.